Well, this has all happened in the last two and a half years. Destroyed in two and a half years, all of it. Our massive economy, our technology, economic growth, our secure border, our military, law and order, the civil society, all being destroyed. And I'm supposed to sit here tonight and congratulate Joe Biden for his great leadership while he and his Obama ideologues have unleashed on our country every disastrous policy one can imagine to fundamentally transform it into what? Into a bankrupt, weak nation that's lost its spirit? Look what it's done to Israel. They rearmed Iran after Donald Trump disarmed it. Iran was put in a box. Now it's out of its box. It's built up his military. It's going to have nukes. Imagine what that'll do, not just to the Middle East, but to us. The threats, the blackmail, and perhaps use of those nukes. It changes the whole thing. There's a new axis of evil. Biden has pushed China and Russia together. North Korea is now fully nuclearized. And then Iran, those four countries, by the time they're done, are going to have a massive arsenal of nuclear weapons not to mention their conventional weapons and not to mention their geographic positioning. Communist China is in our hemisphere in a big way, Central and South America. They are putting killer satellites in the sky to knock out our GPS systems, our satellites to blind our military and our population. They control both sides of the Panama Canal through contracts. They have a deep water port in the Solomon Islands where my great uncle fought during World War II. They have a very stretch then. We're not funding it commensurate to the challenges that we face. We have a commander in chief who has undermined our nation domestically and whose foreign policy is the greatest disaster of any president in American history. I had a friend of mine 